This conference will now be recorded. So we'll be starting our next talk. That is service order configuration. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover uh, there, we will see uh, how to create a new order type, new service order type. So when you create the new order types, what are the settings we need to make? Settings for new order types. Define number range. Okay, we will see how to define the number range. Then define the control key. How to define the control key? Then define the maintenance activity types. Define the scheduling parameters. Okay. Then define the partner partner determination. Then configuring the priorities. We will see. Then object information key. How to configure the object information key? We will see. Then costing parameters configuration. And finally, the confirmation parameters configuration. So these are the topics we will be covering in the uh, new order type creation. Okay. So basically, we will see uh, whenever the new order type is created. Okay. What are the settings we need to do? What are the uh, settings we need to do in the system? We will see one by one. Okay. So basically, whenever we create a service order. Okay, a service order will look like this. It will have the header data, header data. It will have the operations. It will have components, costs, okay, and the partners, and the object information. So all these things we have covered in our uh, regular business process sessions. So when we discussed in-house repair, uh, ex uh, repair it on site. So during that time we have created the orders and we have seen the end-to-end. Uh, business scenarios. So today here we will be covering how to create the order type, new order type, and what are the configuration settings we need to do so that we can execute the entire business process that we will be covering. Okay. So uh, before going into the configuration, we need to understand few terminologies. First is order category. Okay. And order type. Order type. So we will understand what is order category and what is order type okay so order category order category means order category determines the application component to which an order belongs okay so in which application these order orders belongs to that is called order category it is usually used as a program internal selection criteria and to all intents and purposes that do not appear to the user so normally order category will not appear uh, at the front end to the users okay so the all the uh, service orders which which we covered earlier all the service orders normally belong to the category 30 they are like maintenance orders i will show you this in the system okay so let me go to system Okay, so if you go here, I'll go to configuration, SPRO, SAP reference IMG. Okay, scroll down, go to plan maintenance and customer service. Okay, go to maintenance and service processing. Okay, go to maintenance and service orders. So if you go here, functions and settings for audit types. So if you go here, Suppose let's say go to configure order types. Okay, so we already have some order types here. The one which we used in our training for service orders, we used SM01, SM02, SM03. Suppose if I go to SM02, let's say, if I go to details, you see here the order category is 30, maintenance order. This is standard SAP, you cannot change it. Okay. So, and also this order category normally not visible at the front end to the users. Okay. Only we can see the order types. Okay. So, all service orders belongs to the category 30. Okay. So, let's continue. So, we understood the, the order category is 30. Suppose, let's say in the PP module, they use production orders. So, those orders belong to the category 10. Okay. So, we understood what is 
what is order category order category so all our plan made uh, cs order type orders belongs to the category 30 now we will understand order type okay so order type what is order type first we'll understand what is order type okay uh, before going into the order uh, order type the order categories for the respective applications are fixed in the system so as i just explained these order categories are fixed you cannot change it in the system these are fixed okay next is order type so different order types should be used for different business situations because many system control functions depend on the order type so like for every different business function we will be using different order types like in house repair we use a different order type for uh, uh, field service repair at on site we use a different order type so for different business scenarios we will be using different order types for the differentiation okay so these are the ones like these are the pm order types so in cs we used already if you recollect sm01 we used sm01 sm02 sm03 so all these are standard order types provided by sap okay if at all uh, based on the client requirement you can create new order types also so in this session we will be covering creating the new order type and doing the subsequent settings okay so that is order type so you can see the order type over here if you if you go to a order these are all order types so in, if you go to any order any service order suppose if i go to the service orders okay okay suppose if i go to a service order you see here this is the order type sm02 okay suppose if i go to another order so this one is ya01 so like this you can have different order types based on the different business processes we are executing okay so now we will be covering we will be seeing how to create a new order type okay order type creations we will cover okay as i just explained different order types different order types should be used for different business situations because many system control functions depend on, on the order type the order type will control all the settings all the functions basically okay the order type represents business seg segments that differ in the way they are processed and therefore have different system settings so according to order type we can do different settings okay you can freely define the order types within an order category for each application that's what i just explained so st standard sap comes with st some uh, order types okay standard order types apart from that we can define our own order types we can define our own order types okay a distinction is made here between parameters that depend directly on the order type and those that are assigned to a combination of order types order type and planning plan so once this order type is created we will be assigning this order type to a plant planning plant okay so that we will see it in the system okay so basically what are the functions and settings of the order types so when you create an order type you will be doing all these settings basically we will be doing all these settings okay so what we will do we will create a new order type and then we will see the uh, 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 respective settings to be made after creating the order type okay so let's let's go to the system okay these are the these are the settings we need to make these are the settings okay availability check priority types status profile partner determination procedure scheduling parameters okay field selection and confirmation parameters all those things we need to do when you create a new order type okay uh, so let's start creating a new order type okay so i'll go to the system i am in the s4 hana system okay so let's i'll take this s02 using this i will create a new order type okay so take it and just copy copy as okay so here i'll create a order 